Today, Wednesday, December 2nd, 2020, the Ministry of Health and Wellness received confirmation of three new cases of COVID-19. This is from a total of 95 samples with three positives and 92 negatives. This brings a total number of cases diagnosed in country today to 262. Case number 260 is a 60-year-old male from the Viewfort district. Case number 261 is a 28-year-old male from the Castries district. Case number 262 is a 26-year-old female from the Castries district. These individuals were seen at community respiratory centers where they were assessed and tested for COVID-19. They were all placed in quarantine by health practitioners while awaiting the return of their test results. Epidemiological links have been established for case number 261 and investigations are ongoing by the contact tracing team to determine the links for the other two cases. As per protocol, arrangements have been made for placement of those individuals into isolation. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will be pleased to announce three COVID-19 recoveries for today, December 2nd, 2020, bringing the new total number of active cases currently in country to 119. To date, St. Lucia has recorded a total of 141 recoveries in country. At present, all of the active cases are stable and doing well. Everyone is again reminded of the importance to take personal responsibility to minimize the spread of COVID-19 by maintaining habits to limit the spread of the virus. We encourage every individual to continue partnering with the Ministry of Health by practicing daily infection prevention and control measures to minimize the spread of the virus. Wash your hands often during the day. Wear a mask every time you're in public that covers both your mouth and your nose. Also, maintain a distance of six feet from others, which is about two arms length apart. Sanitize frequently touched surfaces using a bleach solution. Also, avoid contact with other persons who have flu-like symptoms. If you are experiencing flu-like symptoms, keep away from others and seek medical care immediately at the closest community respiratory clinic. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue providing updates as new information becomes available.